And we're back on the OK Preps Signing Day Special. I'm your host for the evening, Michael Knight, also the Managing Director of OKPreps.com. I'm now joined by Kansas signee and Booker T. Washington cornerback, Kyle Mayberry. Kyle, first off, thanks for coming in this evening. Thank you for having me. Let's start with your uh, career at Booker T. Washington. Uh, we're going to get into some other uh, topics, including our last two guests talking a little trash about you. We're going to let you defend yourself without a doubt. But let's talk about your Booker T. Washington career. I saw you sent out uh, a couple tweets about uh, a special coach that helped you out in your process of, of becoming a young football player into a Division One recruit. Um, yes, Coach Williams. Uh, he was my coach sophomore year and junior year. And uh, he made me change positions. Uh, I actually was playing receiver at the time, a punt returner. And uh, he had told me, he said, if you play defensive back for me, you'll have a full-ride scholarship your senior year. And uh, look at me today, I had 37 Division One offers. So it was just a testament how honest he was with me. Now, uh, you've been committed to Kansas this entire time. I remember, uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to be in attendance, but all the way back on July 4th, uh, you announced on our uh, weekend show that you were going to go ahead and commit to KU. You mentioned all the offers that still came after you committed to KU. Uh, what was it about the Kansas program that made you stay committed despite all the different offers that came your way? Uh, what stood out for me was I could just be myself, you know, uh, just an outgoing personality type of guy. Uh, and I felt like other programs may have took that wrong. You know, I didn't know how they would act after the recruiting process because this is how I really am. And another thing with Lawrence, the town Lawrence, uh, Kansas University, it's just a fun town. You know, they love you, they treat you good, you know, they take care of you. And the coaching staff is just authentic, down to earth. And then the defensive backfield, uh, the history of the school, Chris Harris, Ja'Cory Shepard, Dexter McDonald getting drafted last year, two corners in the Pro Bowl with a key to leave and Chris Harris, and just the defensive back history. Yeah, and we're going to talk about Chris Harris here in a bit, being in the Super Bowl later on this week. Definitely have to get into the conversation there. I saw he sent you a little bit of a shout-out for signing with KU today. Now let me ask you this. Uh, you mentioned Lawrence as a town. You went on your official visit over the weekend. You got a chance to take in some Kansas-Kentucky basketball. That's the basketball atmosphere. Like, obviously, you, you probably wish while watching – Man, I wish I played a little basketball, too. That place is nuts. Right. Uh, actually, Bill Self hit me up when we was down there. <laughs> he said he was going to call the basketball coach and see if I can make a layup. Uh, I don't think he actually got back with him and uh, called my coach. But, you know, the atmosphere was amazing. Um, it just shows what the city of Lawrence is capable of, not only on the basketball field, I mean basketball court, but the ba uh, football field. Chris Harris, obviously, Bixby zone, playing for the Denver Broncos in Super Bowl 50 later on this week, played at Kansas, had a really solid career, ended up being drafted, and uh, has had a really successful NFL career so far. What does that say for a guy like you being recruited out of Oklahoma, where a guy in recent memory has made the transition from high school here in the Tulsa area to Kansas to now in the NFL, and he's playing on the grandest stage of them all on Sunday? Honestly, I feel blessed because uh, he didn't have that platform set out for him, but he set the platform for me. Uh, me being from Oklahoma, you know, going to Kansas, he went to Kansas, and I want to follow the same dreams that he had. We're both around the same size, and, you know, it's just a lot of comparisons there. Let's talk about uh, your teammate, Justice Hill. We had him <laughs> in studio here uh, a couple segments ago, and he said when OSU plays KU, when you guys are one-on-one -on, -one on the field in the future – He's running you over. What do you have to say about that? You got to defend yourself. You know, honestly, I don't even believe Justice Hill was the only person that was talking about me up here at the station. Uh, <laughs> what I have to say is uh, everyone just wants to come after the greatest I see. And, uh, you know, Justice Hill is going to get his time. He's going to get his moment to go against Kyle Mayberry. He hasn't done that in a long time. Um, coaching staff at Booker T wouldn't allow me to touch him in practice. <laughs> so, um, you know, this merry-go-round is going to be a little bit different, Justice Hill. Calling you out, Justice. Hey, firing back. A.J. Parker, he thinks uh, he's the best defensive back in Oklahoma. He's headed to Kansas State. You immediately become rivals with the interstate connection there. He thinks he's the best uh, cornerback uh, in the state of Oklahoma. Your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts on that, uh, A.J., you're a great guy, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I know you. Uh, we grew up playing basketball together. I've been knowing you for a very long time, but but I have to sun you for a minute. Um Honestly, to play cornerback uh, at the highest level, you have to play press, man. 
you have to get up in someone every game, and I don't believe you do that, sir. So, before you call yourself the greatest, um, I think you need to handle those tasks. Shots fired. You're definitely handling yourself defending-wise. We got your highlights playing uh, on the back right here. How would you describe yourself as a cornerback? And we're seeing the offensive highlights now. Uh, you mentioned earlier uh, switching positions early on in your career, although you were still utilized on the offensive end uh, this season at Booker T. Washington. How would you describe yourself as a corner? Uh, I would describe myself as um, just ideal. Uh, if I had to make a comparison to my game, probably be someone like Vernon Hargreaves that played uh, for Florida is probably going to get drafted, or a more of like a Jason Verrett style type of player, um, a, a quick twitch type of guy. Um, you know, I'm going to get in you. Uh, my feet are amazing. I have makeup speed and uh, I have long arms and length to uh, make plays on the ball. So I feel like that's my aspects. And that's Kyle, uh, you're a part of a really special 2016 class here in Oklahoma. I think it's one of the deepest uh, in recent memory. There's going to be so many guys playing at the Division One level and even some of the smaller school levels, D2, D3. There's some really talented players going that way, as well as NEO. We're going to see a couple of the guys who signed with NEO today end up at the Division One level later on. What does it mean to be a part of a special uh, class in 2016 here in the state? Um, I think it's, it's amazing to be a part of a class like this. Uh, I have a lot of friends, you know, made a lot of friends in this 2016 class, um, met a lot of great athletes, competed with the best, and uh, I want to just thank them for helping me uh, better myself. You know, playing against them is going to get me prepared for college. Thank you. Kyle, we appreciate your time. Thanks for coming up, and congratulations on Kansas. Thank you. He's Kyle Mayberry, Booker T. Washington cornerback. He thinks he's going to take care of Justice Hill. Hey. Marvin Danzler, you should have let him hit in practice. We could have gotten a preview of what's to come in the Big 12. Also thinks he's the best defensive back in the state. We'll wait and see. Obviously an immediate uh, rivalry there with A.J. Parker, Kansas, and Kansas State. It's going to be fun to watch regardless over the next four to five years. For Kyle Mayberry, I'm Michael Knight. We'll be back with a pair of Uligaw teammates who are headed to the Division One level, one being to Kansas State and Jimmy McKinney. The other is Brayton to Spain, headed to Central Arkansas. All that and more coming up next. It is the OK Prep Signing Day special right here on your home for National Signing Day in Oklahoma, okpreps.com.